shaping the views of tomorrow's voters today. The results of the nationwide mock election in Scotland. 721, and you might think the general election was over and done with some time ago, but not for half a million pupils from schools across the country. That's right. They took part in the Hansard Society's Why Vote or Mock Election, and it's taken until this morning to actually count all those votes. So is Tony Blair in for a terrible shock while well, breakfast Paul Walsh is at Felstead School in Essex with all the results and uh, no doubt some nerves. Good morning. Morning. As you can see, some of the boarders here ready for breakfast. The winning candidate here was the Conservative candidate, Charlie Radbrook. What do you think the national picture will be like? I'm guessing that the national picture is that um, the Liberal Democrats came on top this time. Really? Yes. Not, the, not the Tories? Not the Tories. Okay, well, let's see if you're right. This is the way the picture looked across the country in schools. An amazing result. The Lib Dems got 42% of all the of all the seats. The Conservatives 24%. Labour came third with 17%, which was exactly the same number as the other parties, the Greens, the Veritas, and the like. 17%, the same as Labour. Let's find out why. Why? What made you decide to vote the way you voted when you were doing it? I liked. Um the Lib Dems manifesto because they're going to cut university fees and really that, that was it it came down to fees in the end yes why do you think it was that Labour did so badly among kids well I think it just shows how unpopular that some of the Labour policies are such as the university fees and the introduction of AS's uh, and what was what was in your mind when you were deciding how to vote um, I was just more thinking about um, like fees and that as well because I was just with him all the time so, a, a, a surprising result and a little worrying probably for the Labour Party. Paul Ellis is the teacher here who, uh, who organised the election in this school. Why is it that the schools are doing this? We're doing it so that students learn a bit about how to vote, how to register to vote, etc. For example, our Veritas candidate actually forgot to register to vote, so he wasn't allowed to vote for himself in the end. Um, we didn't have any Labour Party candidates, we didn't have any Liberal De Democrat Party candidates either, so as to show people that there are other parties around and there's other things to do as well. Uh, they obviously didn't vote the way their parents do across the country, but do you think they did here? Because you've got a, a Conservative candidate in a, in a fee-paying school. That's right, the Conservatives did win here, in fact the Veritas Party candidate came second as well, so we're very right-wing in some ways here, but yes, I, I would expect they would have voted as their parents would have done, yes. And the uh, monster raving loony party did very well at this school too. We'll be talking to him a little later in the programme, but right now that's about it from us. Back to you in the studio. It's breakfast time for the boarders at Felstead School in Essex, and today we'll be revealing the views of the voters of tomorrow with the results of the nationwide mock election held alongside the general election in schools. The result is surprising. 23 minutes past eight. You might think the general election was over and done with some time ago, but not for half a million pupils from schools across the country. Yes, they took part in the Hansard Society's Why Vote or Mock Elections, and it's taken until this morning to count all the votes. So, is Tony Blair in for a shock? Who's the new Prime Minister? We don't know. Paul Welsh is at Felstead School in Essex with the results. Tell us, Paul. Hi, Paul. Yeah, good morning. It's uh, breakfast time here. The boarders are having their breakfast. In a moment, some who've uh, been fed early for us are going to be helping us reveal the national picture. But first of all, the winning candidate here was the Conservative candidate, not surprisingly, you might think, in a fee-paying school, Charlie Ladbrook. How did you enjoy this, this mock election? How did it go? Um, I enjoyed it very much. I've learned a lot more about um, politics, um, not only in this area, but nationwide. And I've read the Conservative manifesto, and I'm much more in tune with the um, goings on of the country. OK, well, let's find out what happened across the country with the national result. If you can just show us now, this gives us an idea of how it went. As you can see, the Lib Dems won across the country. 42% of the seats went to them, 24% to the Conservatives. Third came the Labour Party with 17%. But what's surprising is the other parties, the fringe parties, got the same as Labour, 17% as well. Well, let's find out what made the kids vote as they did. Well, what were you thinking about as you went to the poll? I think a lot of it had to do with Labour's policy on top-up fees and also the war in Iraq, which a lot of people were opposed to. And how did you vote? I voted Conservative. And, and what was in your mind when you were getting into picking which candidate? Um, again, with the um, a situation in Iraq, and I just felt that uh, Conservative policies for me were just a better option. And 
did you learn much about the political process? Yes, uh, I did. Um, the six local candidates came to our school and um, talked to us about it, and um, I was very much swayed by Sir Alan Hazelhurst, so I voted Conservative. And one of the candidates here was the Monster Raving Looney candidate, who actually did very well, 18% of the, of the vote. I mean, it, it, it is a serious business, though, isn't it? Yes, yes. Um, we feel that our policies, while a little bit loony, are, in fact, very serious policies. <laughs> right, OK. Let's turn to the teacher for a little bit. What exactly were you uh, trying to get out of this uh, for the school and for the kids? Well, it's been the exam term. It's quite a difficult time to organise elections, but the whole point was to try to show something about the election process to help them learn how to vote, help them learn how to register as vote as well. The Veritas candidate didn't actually register, so he wasn't allowed to vote for himself in the end. We had a proper polling station, a proper ballot box, and we, we did it as properly as we could do. And so it's learning more than just how politics works, it's learning how to vote. Absolutely, yes, it's very important to learn how to do that. Some of the students didn't even know how to put a cross on the paper, some didn't even know that Tony Blair was in the Labour Party, things like that. It's very important they learn as much as possible at this stage. Of course, the results, uh, the, the, the way they voted uh, will probably change by the time they get to 18, but uh, Tony Blair might uh, take a look at those results and uh, be a little surprised by what the kids had to say. <laughs> Thanks, well, thank you very much indeed, and I think someone there might be in for a bit of detention, maybe even a haircut, holding up signs behind the teacher, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass it on later yeah, on. Uh, Declan Curry to the London Stock Exchange.